Hello everyone, I'm Shana. So today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can do distributed training with TensorFlow and Keras. And uh, not only that, in this video, you'll also get to know that how you can uh, read documentation and can understand that uh, how thing works. And also this video will a benefit because I'll be going through line by line and will be explaining you that how you can do that. And uh, also in the previous a uh, few few days or few weeks ago i did also distributed training and it was quite impressive and i really love that thing so i thought to share it with you guys so that you guys also leverage those things and can make a benefit out of it so let's uh, jump into the video or into the code and let's understand everything so you can see this is basically uh, the keras official website and this is a uh, basic guide, uh, developer guide, which is created by Francois Charlotte, who is the Keras creator, and he written this blog that how you can use multiple GPUs and do distributed training and all of the stuff. So uh, I am very much excited to start this video and explain the whole concept to you, uh, with you guys. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. And also I'll be referring uh, many things and everything. So. Uh, be there and also if you haven't seen the previous video which i made on that how to make data loaders with tensorflow using tf tf.data i think that you guys should watch that video before watching this so it will be coming up in the i button so i hope that you guys will see the video and then come back to this video but you can also see this video this video will also be very uh, super beneficial to you guys as well and also uh, i have made a playlist of gsoc if you want to know anything about gsoc then you guys can go head over to that playlist and can get benefit from it i have uh, made three videos on gsoc and i guess that these videos are pretty much helpful for anyone to uh, say to get selected in gsoc and i hope that you guys will leverage that thing and if you guys uh, want to make any like want to suggest any kind of video topic then you can just ping me in the comment section that uh, science make this video on this topic i will surely make that make that video on that topic so without wasting any time let's uh, jump into the code and let's understand what is distributed training so you can see uh, it is clearly written that uh, there are generally two ways to distribute computation across multiple devices one is data parallelism and another uh, is model parallelism so we'll be like uh, dealing deep into model parallelism and we'll be like getting to know that how we can do that so for that we'll be using the api that is tf.distribute api to train our keras model right so for that uh like we can we will be importing our tensorflow modules as well as the keras module now what will we do in in normal thing uh we 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 actually use one gpu and then we set up a batch size and all the stuff then we train the model but in distributed training we can have multiple gpus up and running for training the model so uh then you can ask me a question that sign then how to use it so it's basically very simple uh it is here it ends because uh, I am expecting that you are using a single host machine that if, uh, you have a single machine and you have multiple GPUs that is multiple uh, device synchronous training and uh, so how can you use it you can use tf.distribute.mirror strategy API and you can easily use it so this is basically the documentation the tensorflow documentation of uh, mirror strategy uh, distributed training for distributed training so you can see this now let's jump into the topic and let's just understand so first uh, we will instantiate a meta strategy and then we will be seeing that how many gpus are in our scope or how many gpus are available for use to train a model after doing that we will use a strategy object to open a scope so that we can create and compile the model inside the distribution scope because we need to allocate that thing into that thing right so for that we need to do that and i'll be explaining you through code so don't worry and then you can train your model via model.fit or you can also use the like override the train step and use gradient tape for 
actually drink the water so it's basically you can do a hell of stuff that's not important and also uh, the most important thing that uh, it is recommended that you use ef dot data or data set objects to load the data and actually uh, make that thing working uh, i have made the video the previous video is about that so i hope that you guys have watched that video and come here and tried this approach for training and this is a very basic and simple documentation you will ever find to actually train your model in a distributed environment so now let's see that how the code looks like first i've told you that you have to create a mirror strategy then you have like then you have to get that how many devices are bearing synchronous so you will be getting that uh, number of devices and after you open a strategy scope you have to build your model and then you have to compile it after getting it done just train your model by via, via model.fit and then you can easily validate the model rest of the things the data loader part level encoding part everything remains the same just that you have to instantiate the more uh, instantiate mirror strategy and then you have to open a strategy scope after that you have to build the model as well as compile it and then you can just train it normally there is nothing configuration needed in the video that how you can use tpu i will be uh, like showing it to you guys uh, so that's a pretty different concept but for distributed training this much is needed and it's pretty much very simple i think you guys have understood it and then uh, this is a uh, basically a uh, example via code so basically he has uh, like uh, created a function where he is uh, taking the input layer then two dense layers and after that he is getting the output layer after that he is uh, like building a model as well as compiling it and returning the model after that he has written a data loader like this you can write a data loader and then you can uh, like instantiate a mirror strategy as well as get the number of devices after that you can open a strategy scope and can get the compiled model so basically he has done uh, everything in the get compile model and just return the model after that uh, he has got the uh, data set objects then he has just trained it and then he has just evaluated the model so you can see that the number of devices is one and then you are like training the model and getting the loss and the accuracy so for that you can do that and you can also use callback so that you ensure that the system is fault tolerant for that you can use model checkpoint because it will save each and every like uh, like it, it will save the model or the serialize the model in every epoch and uh, so yeah this will be doing in every epoch change so you can do that and after that you can just uh, train the model and do all of the stuff so basically this is for uh, basically this is for uh, making sure that system is fault tolerant so it is very important that your system is fault tolerant so here are also some tf dot data tips i'll be giving the link uh, in the description you can check that out you can also use that calling the data set prefetch actually like i've explained the thing in the previous video that uh, the next batch will be already be ready in the gpu by by the time the current batch is over so how much it is important you you you, you should able to understand and all the stuff and then you can just read it if you want to like if you want to make sure your like you can also like uh, set up your tf config uh, in gcb bucket and all the stuff you can do a lot of stuff you can also look for queue flow so there are many things you can look upon but i just made a simple video that how you can just minimally do the things and minimally uh, like train the train uh, your keras model into a distributed environment so i hope that you guys uh, got the video and i hope that you guys will use this uh, will leverage this thing in your projects if you have access to multiple gpus and also like uh, i also want to announce that uh, newton school is bringing up uh, a grand coding contest which is uh, very much pretty much near today is the last day i guess so don't wait uh, just go and register the link is in the bio 
as well as uh, you will be getting many 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 prizes if you stand really well and there are pretty much uh, it is a global event as i said so there are prizes for indians as well like separate prizes for indians as well as for girls as well so i hope you guys will participate as well and some of them will also get access to the newton school full stack development course which is pretty much great because uh, if you are going through the course uh, apart from the grand coding contest then uh, you'll be you'll be having a uh, aptitude test after that if you are selected then you'll be given the course and after that the course is de- designed in such a way that it is uh, covering most of the aspects and also they will also conduct some some mock interviews and all of the stuff so that you get a job between 5 lpa to 40 lpa and you don't have to pay any money during that course of time just after getting the job you can just pay back all of your money uh in installments or in one go it's up to you so this is a great offer i think and i guess you should uh look for it the links are all in the description and in the next video i'll be talking about tensorflow hub and how you can actually uh, use uh, tensorflow hub to train your image classification models i'll be dealing with that and uh, so yeah this much for this video i hope you guys have liked this video and if you like my content then consider subscribing to the channel as well as like the content and i hope uh, you guys have been great so let's meet in the next video bye bye take care